The Lord said to Mary Magdalene, Go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my father and your father, to my God and your God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, today the Holy Mother Church celebrates the memorial of Saint Mary Magdalene, who is the Apostle of the Apostles. So dear friends, let us acknowledge all our sins and failures and ask pardon and forgiveness from the Lord to partake in these sacred mysteries in a worthy manner. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son entrusted to Mary Magdalene before all others with announcing the great joy of the resurrection, Grant, we pray, that through her intercession and example we may proclaim the living Christ and to come to see him reigning in your glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. I found him whom my soul loves. First reading, a reading from the Song of Solomon, chapter 3, verses 1 to 4. The bride says, Upon my bed by night, I sought him whom my soul loves. I sought him, but found him not. I called him, but he gave me no answer. I will rise now and go about the city, in the streets and in the squares. I will seek him whom my soul loves. I sought him, but found him not. The watchmen found me as they went about in the city. Have you seen him whom my soul loves? Scarcely I had I, had, I passed them. When I found him whom my soul loves. The word of the God. Our response, my soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you like a dry berry without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary. I see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. My soul is thirsting for you, O my God. So I will bless you all my life. In your name, I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. 
My soul is thirsting for you, Lord my God. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Gospel acclamation. Tell us, Mary, say, that did you sin upon the way, the tomb the living did enclose, I saw Christ's glory as he rose. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 20, verses 1 and 2, followed by 11 to 18. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early while it was still dark and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Mary stood weeping outside the tomb, and as she wept, she stooped to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Saying this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom do you seek? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni. Jesus said to her, Do not hold me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and said to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said, these things to her. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends in the Lord, in today's Gospel reading, God is setting before us a model who was like one among us, a sinner, a simple faithful, became an extraordinary person. A sinner turned into a great saint because of her gratitude, because of her perseverance, because of her faith and love in the Lord. We see her life began with the casting out the seven demons from her. With that gratitude, she started to follow Jesus. And after realizing her sinfulness, again she knelt at the feet of Jesus and 
washed the feet of Jesus with her tears and wiped with her hair. Because of the atonement of her sins, she realized that I am a sinful woman. He is the one who can atone my sins, who can forgive my sins. Here is my forgiveness. Here is my newness of life. Here is my renewal of my life. She realized and knelt before Jesus and received the reward of forgiveness. And we see in the today's gospel reading, out of love for Jesus, Though it was dark, she went beyond the religious barriers and social barriers, went to the tomb of Jesus. So, dear friends, for her faith, God has rewarded her, rewarded her by giving the first appearance among the all, the resurrection appearance she has received. Jesus, did, Jesus though Jesus did not give place among the apostles, among the 12 apostles, but Jesus gave the first place to a woman to witness his resurrection, on which all our faith is built upon. We are the witnesses of Christ the risen. So, dear friends, whoever follows him, whoever having the perseverance to listen to the word of God, here also uh, Mary Magdalene, when she heard the voice, first she could not recognize, and later when she heard the voice of God, Mary, her heart was enlightened, and immediately she recognized and called Master. So, dear friends, we are also hearing so many times, we are also uh, searching God in our prayers, in our meditations, in our reading of the word of God. Today, not only Mary Magdalene went in search of Jesus at the tomb. So we are also going many times to the Lord, the, to the place of God where Jesus is there. In our prayers, in our meditations, in our pious activities, we are also going to meet God. How many times are we getting the real presence of God? How many times are we hearing the voice of God, the word of God? How many times are we getting the uh, burning of the hearts where the apostles also during the Emmaus uh, event while they were walking and speaking with Jesus in that conversation, their hearts were burned with the spirit, burned with the joy. How many times are we receiving the same experience? Today, God is inviting each and every one of us to have the same God's experience in the word of God. So, dear friends, as she is filled with the joy of the Lord. Before going to the tomb, she was filled with the grief. She was filled with the sorrow. My Lord has been died. Again, when she saw the empty tomb, again, it is a great uh, wreck for her. It is a great blow for her, for whom she is loving, for whom she went to anoint his body with the oil. Again, she could not find another blow she is receiving. So, dear friends, when she did not leave her effort to see, effort to find Jesus. So, dear friends, God also is inviting us to have same perseverance and persistence that surely we too will find. We too will have the God experience every day. We are seeing this uh, search, Mary Magdalene's search for only one day, but God has given us so many days, so many years, so many decades when we also go in search of God, surely we too will find for that God is inviting us to have same God experience, same joy. Today's yeah, we see before this incident, she was considered like a sinner, an ordinary woman. Due to her faith, due to her perseverance, she became an extraordinary woman, a sinner turned into a saint. God is inviting each one of us, we too may be having the same sinful nature. We too may be having the sinful background, sinful past, sinful history. When we come to God and pour out ourselves at the feet of the Lord, He is ever ready. So, dear friends, as we are going to receive the precious body and blood of Christ, let us offer ourselves that we too may be enlightened. 
by his presence we too may be experiencing his presence whenever we receive the holy eucharist and whenever we go to the lord in prayer or in the reading of the word and meditation for that let us pray at this time of offertory that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father praise the lord in his name our god and god of all his holy church accept o lord the offerings presented in commemoration of saint mary magdalene whose homage of charity was graciously accepted by your only begotten son who lives and reigns for ever and ever amen the lord be with you lift up your hearts let us give thanks to the lord our god it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for you are praised in the company of your saints and in crowning their merits you crown your own gifts by their way of life you offer us an example by communion with them you give us companionship by their intercession sure support so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels and with the great multitude of saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son and the Harvest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, and he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, 
and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and everlasting covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and bala our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god and saint joseph our spouse and with the blessed apostles and all the saints especially with saint Mary Magdalene who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son Jesus Christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours for eva and eva at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ Lord Jesus Christ who set your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign for ever and ever the peace of the lord be with you always let us offer each other the sign of god's peace Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world behold who invites us to be the living witnesses blessed are those who are called to this supper of the lamb
The love of Christ impels us so that those who live may live no longer for themselves but for him who died for them and was raised. Let us pray. May the holy reception of your mysteries, O Lord, Instill in us that persevering love with which St. Mary Magdalene clung resolutely to Christ our Master, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Mass is ended. Let us go and announce the Gospel of the Lord.